What has been your best memory from this season? Uh, definitely my fight for third with Nikurn and Famous in White Rose Chapel. That was really intense. I was not expecting that from how behind I was, but stuff happened and yeah, that was really intense and I really enjoyed that. My best memory. I think um, because my season started really bad, like I was last in Titanic 1, I was really happy that I could keep up my like consistency in Greece will uh, I started from like 30 30 and uh, I climbed up to like seventh or sixth so I guess the best memories was connect were connected with the river release the curl close river release uh, and in particular there were two for me the one on gamer 2 with with lager and on Grishville. Uh, I believe it was with GeForce because those close fights are the most exciting and you are most focused on, on the racing and push, pushing yourself to the limit and yeah, it's kind of the most thrilling part of endurance is apart from pure driving. I think the best memory was the White Rose Chapel race, specifically the first half because I actually had a fight between uh, me, TT, Powerade, and Zyno, and it was one that I felt I could win. It didn't happen, but at least for the first half, I felt competitive. My first win on, on Titanic 1, that gave me so much confidence for the rest of the season on a track where I did not expect to win, and I carried the momentum the entire season. The best was the first strike actually and battle with Lampire on game room uh yeah uh for me the races were you know close five for me laps with others are the most fun and so every race has been unique in its way but uh, for that reason santorini and game room 2 were probably the most fun my best memory from this season is definitely my comeback uh, on School South 1 when I was, I think, 8th or 9th and I went back straight to 3rd with a possibility to actually win this race but I made a lot of mistakes at the end. Question number 2. Is there something you regret or want to forget? Uh, regret? No. Forget? Also, no. I mean, kinda. <laughs> Nikurn's ramming, well, it, it happens, like, it's revolt. That happens all the time, but that that one in Skuzat 1 was especially bad, but uh, I don't really want to forget. It's part of the game. It's fine. I'm not too upset now. Uh, not, not really. Uh, I think this has been, like, a practice season for me because I haven't done any endurances in the past so I will come back stronger next season from the races itself uh, I think Santorini is the race that I want to forget because it went terribly so many mistakes and the thing that I regret is just I wasn't able to participate in all races because of in real life style, uh, stuff uh, because, yeah, endurances are, to be honest, my favorite uh, kind of competitive. And, yeah, I always want to compete where there is uh, an opportunity. I feel like I had the wrong expectations uh, joining the tournament. Maybe it wasn't even a good idea to join the tournament for me. But uh, uh, what is done is done. And I did at least five races if I remember correctly. My performance on Grisville was uh, quite so far. I, I don't think I had the, the right line for that race. Yeah, a lot. Grisville, for sure. Disgusting track. And 20, 30 FPS. I'm not saying I would have won, and I could only laugh when it happened, but uh, my keyboard breaking during the schools our one race was like really the last thing I imagined happened to me. 
I don't think there's anything I really regret, uh, but I really want to forget Grizzly and the rest that actually happened, because the track was so RNG for me. Uh, uh, I didn't have any consistency. I got the best lap, okay, but I think it was more of a luck than skill or something. That track was just too RNG for me, so I want to forget this one. Overall, are you satisfied with your performance? I would say yes, considering the fact that I just uh, I don't practice much, I don't I I don't time trial. I'm pretty okay with my performance. Uh, I dropped a little bit because everyone else got better, but I'm fine with it. I'm fine with my skill level, and and I'm satisfied. We had pretty good fights, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not uh, satisfied with with my performance. Um, I think there has been like good bits here and there, but there is not like a single race that I ha I would have been like completely satisfied with. So yeah, next season will come back stronger. Uh, when it comes to the results, not quite because I know I can do better. I can do uh, I can have more consistency and have better results. And at the end. However, when it comes to just the joy that the end races gave me, I'm fully satisfied because even with the mistakes, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, and yeah, when I was able to, to to catch the consistency after the mistakes and catch other players and and so on, it satisfied me quite a lot. I mean, considering uh, the fact that my skill set is not uh, really geared towards uh, consistency and avoiding mistakes, it's more based around managing chaos and uh, fixing mistakes. I shouldn't be too surprised that I performed badly, but me being human, I did not feel satisfied at all. Overall, I think I've exceeded my own expectations a lot and I managed to perform well enough to actually force a title fight instead of just finishing second like last year. A hard question cause game freezes ruined almost all. Only three tracks were okay for me. Uh, yeah, I mean I signed up late and I hadn't touched Toyota like ever. So, I mean, before the event actually started, so I would say yes, given that uh, I came in with no expectations. But uh, what I can say is that if um, this event happens again, I'm going to expect better results. Overall, yes, because uh, I don't usually have any consistency, like it's my weak spot in races. Uh, but uh, I'm fourth in the overall leaderboard, so... I'm really fine with that. What would you change about our uh, a, a couple changes. Uh, like, I would like more car variety. I don't want to uh, drive Toyeka all the time. Uh, to stay competitive, I want to have more options. Uh, maybe some co co custom cars that are... Of course, it cannot be... I don't think it's fair to be faster than Toyeka, but at least on Nico Pacer and a little bit slower should be fine. And uh, I I would like to have less points for best lap, because this is an endurance championship, not best lap competition, so I would change that for sure. Uh, definitely less points for best laps. Um, two things. Um, first of all, the best lap scoring system. I think it should be less points for for fastest laps because it's endurance and also if there is a possibility for over 16 player lobbies uh, we could try that but it's down to technicalities i guess i guess it's more about the competition itself not the game like uh fixing collisions and so on. But when we speak of, uh, about RVEC, I think uh, what was already mentioned on the chat during the this season, the point system regarding uh, the fastest laps, 
because uh, in my eyes, uh, endurances are more about consistency and the pace is just uh, a part of it. And yeah, I'm also not the one that uh, is based on pace, more I would say on consistency, so it, it would be better f for me. But in general, I think that is something I would change. Everything else was, was awesome. I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> I do feel like it's a bit of a red flag that the last track uh, was uh, voted with negative votes. Like the winning track had the negative votes. So I think the voting system should be changed. But personally, I do not know exactly how, how I would change it. I would perhaps have a look at the voting system and uh... Maybe do something like every person suggests a track at the very start of the season and we have a, an actual clear schedule of the entire season before we even begin with which tracks are gonna be raced. Bullshit tracks and something to do with how to we choose them. That's not the way how it must be. So many bad tracks and make less not six but at least only three best laps to give points to them not six it's too much and also i don't wanna see r or m tracks uh really nothing i mean everything has been organized and made just perfectly in my opinion I think uh, this is the most fair and competitive event in Revolt at the moment. And uh, yeah, I just want to keep it short. Uh, so uh, please uh, don't listen to the people asking for custom cars or uh, graded carpool because, uh, I mean, for this event, because uh, then you're making it more about the cars uh, and not testing the player skills, in my opinion. So. Uh, even if I haven't ever been main into Yeke until this event, as you know, pro probably everyone knows, it's up to me to adapt, and I don't want to bend the rules for that. So, uh, yeah, winning means nothing if you uh, want to make it easier for yourself. I would definitely change the best lap point system because uh, the current one is slightly for advantage if you get the best lap and it's actually quite high value to go for best lap. Six points is too high number for me. I would nerf it to three points for best lap and two and one point for second and third best lap. And the second uh, thing that I, I'd like to be I'd like to be changed is um, the voting system that that is currently in use because uh, usually we get some really not uh, that much that good of a tracks like uh, Moondown which I find pretty RNG and Grisville uh, last season we get Botanical Garden X I think uh, we should prioritize the tracks that uh, you can be consistent at not because um, because if you actually can't be really consistent with what you're doing and you know you're doing everything good, the track the track is just RNG. Uh, it's actually it's not that bad for overall overall races in my opinion. Do you have any final hot takes and or final thoughts regarding the season? Hot takes, Nikurin, please. Stop crashing every two seconds, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's my hot take. Thank you very much. I don't know if it's a hot take or not, but next season's goal is to be in top three in overall standings. I don't think I have much. Maybe just the, uh, my attitude towards uh, the next season. I just hope to, to beat more players than I did this year and to finish even if maybe top 5. However, I know it's gonna be hard because the, the level of of everyone is growing, so it's just gonna be better the, 
time trials are just tighter and it is also uh, mirrored in, in endurances. But yeah, I believe I can beat more players next next time. In complex terms, I feel like the players didn't really feel the courage to play tracks that they're not familiar with or tracks uh, that are a little bit more on the annoying side with some inconsistencies uh, if you play time trial. Which shouldn't happen because this isn't a time trial, it is an endurance. You're supposed to be more consistent and to take more the more consistent path. In more simpler terms, I feel like the players were a bit cowards. And uh, additionally, uh, I feel like they should, they should have picked a more long uh, distance tracks to avoid traffic because of the length of the track. Uh, I would like to wish the best of luck to all my competitors, namely FAM. And I hope we have a thrilling finale deserving of the season. I guess previous one was a lot better for me because then my consistency really gave me points and almost and even podiums now it's a disaster new highlights are awesome and also that new table with best laps on live and unfortunately this season not many battles I joined for points Suka Blyat No, I just want to say thanks for hosting the event and uh, yeah, everything was pretty good, I mean, pretty nice so thanks for that Overall, uh, not really. I enjoyed the whole season very much. Um, I do want to see more Frost versus Famous Battles in the future seasons. <laughs>